Hey everybody, Corey Allen with Keller Williams here. Today we are talking to Rita, the owner of The Point, at 435 Southwest 152nd Street in Burien, Washington. Enjoy! I am the owner of The Point in Burien on 152nd, and we've been in Burien now three years. The people are The Point, right? Um, so we do our best to serve the people and our um, staff. We do um, locally sourced product as much as possible, but it's primarily like a neighborhood bar that features sports and um, high-end burgers and bites, things like that. We tried the first week to stay open and do delivery, which we had never done before. It was just too hard. And um, if anybody's ever been to the point, our, I believe our staff and crew is amazing and they're such a big part of what we do and unfortunately i couldn't shove them in little boxes <laughs> but when we do reopen um the support from the community is going to be uh, huge so we're doing a lot of remodeling while we're closed for social distancing we're taking tables out separating them six to eight feet having new order areas uh, changing the way we wrap food the way we, everything kind of has to change. Nobody knows what, uh, what we're supposed to be doing. I mean, you can deliver liquor. What? Like, who would have thought that was going to happen? Um, so as the rules change, we change. And we're trying to stay up with it and make sure that, um, first and foremost, when we reopen, that our staff and our, and our guests are safe. The first time someone asked me publicly how I felt about it. And I said, the answer is different every day. Every day there's a new emotion and there's this, there's this guilt because you, your staff takes care of you and yours take care of them. And right now I can't take care of them. I don't know what's gonna happen. The community is looking to support the point. First, uh, I'm grateful that they're even considering that. <laughs> and for us, it'd be um, stay home, get healthy, you can purchase a gift card online. Support the people that are open right now because it's hard and they're showing up every day. And it may not be me right now, um, but it might be me in a, in a week. Who knows if we're gonna reopen to do to go, but the people that are out there. And um, I appreciate the delivery models that are out there, but if you can order directly, that saves the restaurants and the shops almost 30 to 40 percent and they'll come out and deliver it to your car just the same you know no no contact needed uh and that would be helpful i know a lot of our neighboring businesses are still open and the, and donating at the same time like i know um frankie's has been taking food to the hospitals which is wonderful um every day there's a weekly each restaurant has been taking food to people in need um, and a lot of those places are accepting donations. We're not super crazy creative, so it's just at the point. <laughs> the point Facebook, the point Instagram. Um, and uh, on Twitter, somewhere somebody else already had the point, so we're at the, uh, the point period. Um, but you can follow us. I do want to add um, one thing. Um, I want to uh, actually give a shout out to you, Miss Corey, because I think what you're doing is amazing. And by continuing to make sure that all these small businesses that you're talking to are staying relevant, because a lot of times when we're in these boxes at home and we're trapped on Netflix and we're watching the Tiger King, <laughs> uh, we forget that there's actually a person behind those boarded up windows. And so I appreciate you taking uh, the time to uh, communicate with your neighbors and force a communication amongst ourselves as well. So thank you.